Hi. In this uh, clip, I want to give, actually dedicate a clip to my new law of uh, reciprocal channel activity costs. I mentioned in a previous clip. And the, 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 the law in a nutshell is that as a, a hub economic process creature, wholesale distributors um, have to do activities where on the flip side of the relationship, either on the buy side or the sell side, uh, the partner has to mirror those costs more or less. So for example, if a customer calls up and says, hi, I'd like to place an order. And we're looking at, a, at, a, at an inside sales cost of, of activity cost. Well, that cost really has to be reflected by the, the cost of the person who called up. They're not for free. They sit in an office. They've got overhead. They've got health benefits, all that stuff. And they've got, you know, busyness things they're doing, you know, on the buy side, or the, the purchase department there. So they, they have that activity cost. When they say, I want to buy one, two, three, four items, they actually had to go and check, decide which items they wanted to buy. So while we have a, a, a picking cost, they have a what do I need cost. And then when we ship it to them, they have, I got to go put it way and, 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 and make sure it's in the right place kind of cost. Uh, when we stop uh, you know, a truck and deliver something to their, their place of, 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 of business, uh, if we want to offer them trade credit for one and two, we want to have uh, paperwork control systems that please our auditors and, and keep us from being victims of, of theft. Uh, we have somebody saying, look, sign here. So there's there tends to be delivery paperwork copy, there's purchase orders, there's invoices. Those three things have to be matched up on both sides of the fence. Checks have to be written, checks have to be posted, things have to be cleared. Uh, that's before we even have a, hey, how come you're slow on your bill? You know, accounts payable, late, late pay, or I'm not paying because there's a problem or an issue or credit or whatever. So um, we realize that, that, that paperwork happens on both sides of the fence. If we have outside sales people who are calling on customers, somebody has to visit with them and talk with them. So there, there are buying costs associated with interacting with outside sales people. Uh, and I could go on. The key, though, is to realize that as a rough approximation, wherever we have high cost to serve as a percent of sales, then therefore the customer has to have high hidden costs of, of buying, whether it's the TPC place, a, a, a silo, if it's in the plant or, or in the field with uptime economics, or it's with disgruntled customers who are next step in the value chain or not getting good service because we didn't get the right stuff at the right place at the right time. Uh, and, it, and so it goes on the back end with our suppliers. Wherever we have uh, two, three, five, two, 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 three, four vendors in a category, and we look at the net profit we make on them. And so there's a, a margin dollar, there's a, there's a cost to serve that margin dollar for net profit. Um, then we can start to infer that wherever we have a lot of activity costs, then too, our suppliers must have a lot of activity costs. So that's a chance for us to sit down and say, what specific products to which specific customers are we selling that's causing the structural uh, damage, if you will, and what's the solution? Now, what's interesting about the solutions is when we zero in on specific items or specific customers or suppliers where there is a structural problem, it's not like this problem is, is, has, been, has not been encountered in other, other channels because there are hundreds of different kinds of channels out there. So sometimes we may have to go look at another channel to find a what I might call, and I'm going to borrow a term from the book, Islands of Profit in a Sea of Red Ink by a fellow named Jonathan Burns, but uh, he talks about precision supply chain solutions. So we tend to have a one-size-fits-all process for how we receive and run stuff through the warehouse. We have a one-size-fits-all process for how we buy stuff. But within within that one-size-fits-all, turns out it doesn't. There, there are outlier kinds of items or customers or situations where we create structural inefficiencies. So we want wind up having huge cross subsidies between super profitable and unprofitable customers and items and so forth. So um, there's, there, there are solutions out there that we can take with credibility and adapt them, tweak them to make them our own and fit our particular situation. Uh, but we have to start to think that way. So just remember the law of reciprocal channel activity costs. And once we have the math on our side of the, of the fence, we can use that as an approximation and a conversation starter on the other side of the fence, whether they, they've actually done their math or not. Thanks.